Hi, I'm James Uren, I'm the Technical Director at MOSIS and I'm just going to give you a quick overview of what we're doing at the Innovation Zone in the HPA Retreat. So, we'll start at the camera end, we're, we're demonstrating a, uh, a new workflow for virtual production, we call it Virtual Production 3.0, and if you come around and, and see what we're doing here, we have a uh, toy car, a Sony Venice on a slider, and we have a lovely, beautiful Sony um, LED wall behind. And as I move the camera, the green screen moves behind the car so that we always capture green, but only in the areas we need it. The reason this is important is because if you perhaps uh, we can look on a slightly larger monitor over here, what we're able to do is capture the reflections of the trees and the sky in the boot of the car here. We're getting all of that from the LED wall but the rest of it we can replace later. First thing that happens is we have to track the position of the camera. We use Mosis Star Tracker for that. So we have these little dots in the uh, ceiling. These are retro reflective stickers. They normally sit on the ceiling of the studio. We have them on a fishnet here. And this, the Mosis Star Tracker sensor sees that constellation and then uses it to determine exactly where the camera is. That allows us to reposition the green screen automatically behind the car. We then run the, the, um, that same tracking information into uh, the Unreal Engine running our software, which is called Moses VP Pro XR. This software is doing two things. It's generating the CG background that we're gonna use for the live pre-visualization of the shot. And it's also acting as a data recorder. So we can record the animation of the camera um, as we move it during the shot. The live previs goes to our onset cue take system, which is over here and it's running on Avid hardware. This is capturing all of the plates from our onset hardware Kia. And uh, you can see camera direct there. This is what we call the fill. So this is with no background. This is the live composite here. And this is the map from our hardware Kia that we have on set. So this gives the director a view of what it's gonna look like in the end. But at the same time, we are actually capturing green screen around the, uh, the car, so we can do stuff with it later in post-production. As soon as we say cut, we automatically trigger a cloud-based re-render using the Moses near-time system. We send camera data up to the near-time system and it will automatically re-render that background at UHD 4K. The near time system and the onset Q take system are sending all of these clips up to Moxian. Another cloud-based system, this one is for content distribution and management. This Moxian system is then automatically taking the UHD re-render and compositing the camera plate with the onset mat. This means just minutes later, something like, if it's a five second take, it's sort of five to 10 minutes later. Um, and it, it, it will be, even for a 15 minute take, it would be maximum 20 minutes later. You would get back to the set, a higher quality, all of the dials in Unreal turned up um, and UHD 4K, back to set for the uh, director to review at a higher quality. Moxian is also connecting us to post-production so we've got an example Avid here that's receiving clips from Moxian and can deliver assembly edits back to set as well. And here we have an example final composite. This is from something that we shot on this exact setup um, kindly provided by the foundry. Um, we're running inside Nuke here and you can see now we have a final composite. So we still have those lovely reflections that we were able to capture on set. But now we've got a much higher quality background. We've got, um, uh, you know, re we've redone the, the, the trees in a higher quality. Usually captured that important dynamic lighting on set to make that composite all the easier. That's the whole workflow. Thank you for listening.